Tim Boyle. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Arcs Australia. Arcs Australia is the peak professional body for the medtech and pharmaceutical sectors. Uh, we focus on the whole sector, uh, meaning both academia, government, industry and consumers. I've been with Arcs Australia for seven months and it's been a fantastic journey. I've joined a great group of people within the team. The team are fantastic. But what really excites me is the sector and the purpose of the people that work within the sector. Because they're all passionate and they're all motivated for the right reasons. The work that we do is about increasing and improving patient care and the outcomes of patients from the development of therapeutic products. I'm the founder of Arx. I was the first elected president and I stayed president for uh, three, the first three years. ARC started in 1984 with about 70 members. This year is really special for ARC Australia. It's our 40th anniversary as you can see on the sign behind me here. And that means it's 40 years of providing value for members and professionalism for those that work within this sector. Without ARC Australia, there would be a big knowledge gap for those that work in, the, in between the discovery science and the approval, approval process. And our members are the professionals that provide services in the therapeutic goods development value chain or the life sciences innovation ecosystem that create the value. They're the regulatory affairs professionals who, who, are, who provide regulatory strategy and help make those submissions to notifying bodies and authorities such as the TGA. They are clinical trials professionals who can shepherd uh, technologies through the clinic, making sure they're safe and efficacious and work and do what they say they do. And they're those that make sure those drugs are safe once they're available for patients so that we know that we can put trust in the medicine, that we will be no worse off after taking them than we were beforehand. The theme of the conference this year is the future of medicine, the convergence of devices, drugs and data. This reflects the convergence of exponential technologies and the influence they're having on traditional medicine and patient care. It's a departure from the way medicine has been developed in the past and a nod to the future of what we will see as trends in, trends in therapeutic product development. They won't all be pills or vaccines and needles. Uh, we're going to see e-health products, digital health delivery. We're going to see the way that these products are created is going to change. These new technologies and the convergence are going to accelerate the rate of maturity of these technologies and how fast they make it through the clinic to patients. And this is going to revolutionise the way we live, revolutionise the way we seek care and help, and the way that our, we as patients and consumers benefit from the technology around us. The vision is to be a professional community for the therapeutic goods sector, and our mission is to represent and serve the professional community by developing its capacity and capability. This year is a turning point also for Arx Australia. Arx Australia was founded 40 years ago as the Association of Regulatory and Clinical Scientists for the Australian pharmaceutical industry. Uh, over time, our membership has grown and evolved, and it's no longer just regulatory and clinical scientists. Our members represent all of the, all of the Australian therapeutic goods development sector. We are now moving towards a holistic professional model for the whole of the medtech and pharmaceutical sector. So this core competency framework for the medtech and pharmaceutical sector, which we're launching now, we have physical copies outside you can pick up. It will be available on our website uh, later today. It uh, has four domains. And those domains are, around, are broken into two. There's two foundation and technical domains, which relate to the, the science and understanding how the sector works. And there's two which are around leadership and professionalism. And as you can see, you know, scientific concepts and research design, uh, understanding of therapeutic goods development and regulation. Um, there's professional leadership and professionalism, and then communication and management. The, these pillars, you know, the bottom half you could say are soft skills or I say translational skills. These are the hardest ones for people with a scientific background to learn. Uh, the, the other two are really understanding where your role fits in the bigger picture. But to enable this change, we're making a commitment to professionalization. These include a code of conduct, which we developed a couple of years ago, and that's available on the ARCS website. We're developing competency frameworks that, may, that show the core competencies required to be, have a career in the sector and to excel and have a from early career to mature professional, late stage professional, all the skills and competencies required to be successful. Uh, we are developing lifelong professional learning. So professional pathways 
for the main occupation areas that we see within the sector. So they're clinical research, regulatory affairs, pharmacovigilance to start with. We are working on medical affairs and leadership and governance further downstream. But comes, coming with these are competency frameworks specific to those core areas and partnerships with our global partners, ACRP, RAPS and the International Society of Pharmacovigilance to give global best practice credentials and accreditation to professionals in Australia. So Australia will be able, Australian professionals will be able to level up on a global playing field and have credentials that are recognised everywhere, but they're available here for the first time to ARCS members. The fourth commitment to professionalisation that ARCS is taking is around professional recognition for our members. And we're doing this through a number of mechanisms. The first is post-nominals. So every ARCS member who is a professional member category will be in the title to use the MMPP post-nominal, member, medtech and pharmaceutical professional. Those members who can demonstrate three years in, in the role with a tertiary degree or five years without one, so equivalence, plus commitment to professional development by achieving 24 CPD points over the past three years and can demonstrate that they meet the level one competencies from our core competency framework, we're eligible to apply for a chartered membership status. So that once, the, once they, are, they are chartered in, they're recognised by their peers, they'll be eligible to use the post-nominal CH MMPP, so Chartered Member, Medtech and Pharmaceutical Professional. We've also announced 20 ARCS Fellows. These are professionals who have gone above and beyond and exemplified themselves against, against all our mission, vision and code of conduct. They volunteer for ARCS, they meet the stage three or level three of the competency framework and they give back to our community. These 20 fellows will be eligible to use the FMPP or Fellow Medtech and Pharmaceutical Professional and also if they go for chartered status we'll be able to have the CH FMPP. This demonstrated commitment to ARCS has to increasing the level of capability and professionalism within the sector. We create role models within the sector and within our membership base that translates back into the workforce. When early career professionals know who to look up to they know who to seek guidance from and ask questions about how they can in turn increase their own careers. This has a, a net effect of raising the professional standards within the workforce. And by doing this, increasing professional standards, we increase the output of their work and the, the quality of the output of their work, which translates to better patient outcomes. And that's what we're all here for. All ARCS members want better outcomes for their patients and for a better standard of care for all of us. So as a parting remark that really wraps up the theme of the conference is ARCS is on a journey. Not only are we seeing the convergence of different technologies that create the future of medicine, we're creating the future of the medtech and pharmaceutical professional through professionalisation of our association. <music>